So we just worked out how to work our coefficients and using pretty much that exact method, we can actually work out when questions ask us to find the term independent of x. So that's your term that's just a number that has no x because you have x to the power of zero, which we know just equals to one. Now, some textbooks in some schools may use the term constant term instead of term independent of x. But just know the term independent of x is the same as the constant term. Now, what I want you guys to know is that not every single expansion is going to have a constant term. So not every single expansion is going to have a number that's independent of x. But there will be expansions, for example, when you have x plus 2 squared, for example, that you do have a number just by itself without x. And that's what we're finding. So let's start off by having a look here when we want to find the term independent of x or otherwise known as a constant term in the expansion of x plus 3 on x to the power of 4. So like we did with the coefficients, the first thing I want you to do is to find the general term here. So the general term, because that's the power of 4, is just 4ck x to the power of 4 minus k, then 3 on x to the power of k. And in the same way as what we did with the coefficient, we need to work out what k equals to for x to the power of 0. Essentially, that's what we want to do, equate those indices, so equals to 0. And how we do that is we need to simplify this. So this becomes 3 to the power of k, and that's the x to the power of negative k there. Those two are the same, so we can add together the indices. 4 minus k minus k, so we have x to the power of 4 minus 2k there. And this, I need to equate with that 0 there because in term independent of x means that 4 minus 2k has to equal to 0. So there is no x there essentially. So move the 2k over, 4 equals to 2k, divide both sides by 2 and you get k equals to 2. So now remember how once we've worked out what k equals 2, we just need to substitute back here into the term. So we just have 4c2, 3 power 2. Now here we have x to the power of 4 minus 2 times 2. So that's going to be x to the power of 0, but you know that already because we made it so it will be independent of x. But it's also a good way to double check that it's right because you know here if you, for example, get x to the power of 2, you know something's gone wrong. So just put that bit into your calculator and you should get 54 as your answer. So 54 is a term that is constant or it's independent of x in this expansion here. All right, yeah, so you can kind of see, yeah, very similar to when we work out the coefficient, right? Pretty much following the exact same pattern only difference is we know we just make it equal to zero here. All right, let's have a look at the next question. I want you to find the term that's independent of x in 2x cubed minus 1 on x power of 12. So first thing we need to do, good, general term. So general term is 12ck. We have 2x power of 3, 12 minus k, minus 1 on x, power of k there and because we have x and x I know I need to split those two up and then simplify it. So this becomes 2 to the power of 12 minus k and here we have x cubed times that so that becomes x to the power of 36 minus 3k right and here we have negative 1. Now be really careful a lot of students I don't know because it's 1 or something get confused and forget the negative, but that's negative one. So make sure you put brackets there because otherwise you can change a whole number, right? And then finally, x to the power of negative k. Now, this and this are common. So you can just subtract that k from here. So you end up with 36 minus 4k. Now remember, when we have a term independent of x, that means we want Exactly, x to the power of 0, right? So I need to make that index equal to 0. So we have 36 minus 4k equals to 0. 
36 equals to 4k. Divide both sides by 4, so k equals to 9 finally. Good. So, found out what k equals to? That's right, sub it back in. So, 12c9, 2 to the power of 12 minus 9, negative 1 to the power of 9. So, you can see why that bracket is really important because if it's even, you know that negative will go away, whereas here we're going to keep the negative. And finally, we have 36 minus 36, so you know we have x to the power of 0. So, you can say, good, that's a way of checking that. Pop that into your calculator and we'll get negative 1760 as your term independent of x there.